All praise to our power. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Our Lord Yahweh Shai suffered the worst death in history for us, for his own people. We are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bone. Okay? For he shall save his people from their sins. Matthew 1 and 21. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. He caught hell by his own people and he died for his own people. Beginning with the elect because he was betrayed. He was betrayed by Judas. He was betrayed from the inside by his own people. By Judas taking the silver, handing the Lord over to the wicked Sadducees and scribes and Pharisees. Okay. The Lord was betrayed by his own. Okay. But at the same time, he still came for the Israelites, even though our people were wicked. And they were traitors to the Messiah. He still came for his own people. He went before Pontius Pilate. Would you Edomites? You're not innocent. You had the power to kill. You have the power to kill because your blessing is the sword. So you're not guiltless. OK, you put to death the Messiah. All right. And you accepted a murderer speaking about our people. You accepted Barabbas. All right. And then you have Pontius Pilate washing his hands, saying he was innocent of the blood of this, this just person. When even his wife knew that Yahweh Shah was innocent. The Lord was terrifying her through dreams. OK, so you Edomites are going to pay. And you wicked of our people are going to pay. All right. The Lord said he might destroy him. They have the power of death. That is the devil. Pontius Pilate. All right. He killed Yahweh Shah. Well, he murdered. All right. But it was our people that handed the Lord over. And they're going to pay, man. They're actually the reason why we went into slavery on ships. They said, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. All right. But once again, you Edomites are going to pay. You beat the Lord. You beat the Lord, man. All right. And you crucified him. So you Edomites are going to get it. You beat the Lord bloody, man. And crucified him. OK. So the story of the crucifixion, people don't think much of it. They don't know what it's really talking about. The Lord went through all that hell, having his hands pierced and his feet pierced for the Israelites. He did that for us, man. Beginning with the elect. Beginning with the elect. Because, see, only the elect will be covered. Only the elect will be covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai. The two thirds of our people handed him over. So they're guilty of the blood of Yahweh Shai. And he's going to come back to put them to death. So. We really have to take into consideration the seriousness of what Yahweh Shai did for us. Because the father takes it serious. The father takes it serious what happened to his son. Okay. And the scriptures say he has put him to grief. The only begotten son of the heavenly father didn't want to go through that. Having his side pierced. Okay. Holding himself up. As he was suffocating. This is what Yahweh Shai went through. Okay. And before they pierced him. He gave up the ghost. He gave up the spirit. And our people were sorrowful. Those of our people that were of the elect. They were sorrowful. And Pontius Pilate knew that he fucked up. Okay. Hey but man. Yahweh Shai is in the midst. And he was in the midst. OK. He he knew what was going on, man. All right. As far as the followers, those of them that went to his grave seeking his body. And the two thirds of our people, y'all got to pay for that. You got to pay and you will pay. The whole point is that the Lord is coming back, man.